Hello, it's Bob Pandolfo on Saturday, August 3rd, 2024, and today is the Hamiltonian. So, I'm going to do a uh, power brush harness racing special short video. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, get ready to leave soon because I'm driving over to the Meadowlands for the races today. Um, I, I took a chance in the Hamiltonian on Six Sour, so the, the big favorite is going to be Carl. And uh, by the way, today's card is a really great card. I'll put the link to all my selections, which are on the United States Trotting Association website. Uh, I'll put that underneath this video. So Carl is going to be a big favorite. Gingras, surprisingly, Yannick Gingras, the driver, hasn't won a Hamiltonian yet. He's very good with trotters. And, of course, this is the Tacker Barn, uh, one of the top trotting barns in the sport for many years. So 14 wins and 16 starts. The loss that Carl had on the 13th actually was, at that time, I thought the best effort of his career. He was used very hard. And then he came back with a sharp win. So I, I actually think the last two, his last two starts were his two best races of his career, even though he lost one of them. Because, I mean, that race, he raced really well. You, see, you could see that the pace, he was, you know, 124 and 2, 124. There's a 124 and 3 here. The last two races, 123 flat, he's on the lead. And then last week he was, you know, a length behind and a 123 and three. So you could see as the competition increased, uh, it's natural that the fractions are going to get faster. And he came through. He's not a real big cult, but he's, you know, his legs just move really fast. You know, that's, I mean, a lot of it is just how fast you can get, get your legs moving. And he's just a fast horse. Um, but I picked Six Sour. So, what, this horse raced five times last year for trainer Noel Daly, and he won his first four starts, which were over this track. Then they went to Lexington, and he was going to win that race, and then he made a break on the lead. So then he comes back this year, and, you know, his first race, he ran, he raced okay, he was just even, and then in the Dancer, he came home in 26-1 and one for the, for, you know, to win off a cover trip. Um, this was a good field, and you could see that's the race he beat Carl. Now, he had a better trip than Carl, but still, this was a very good race. Don't forget, this is only his second start as a three-year-old, and he went 150 flat and came home with 26-1. and one. And then last week, he had post-80, left and tucked, fouled cover, uh, third over, and finished well. You know, only a length and a quarter behind Carl. So, th this is a, a three-year-old moving in the right direction, and, and this is what you have to look for is the amount of starts. This horse only has eight lifetime starts, only three this year. And, I mean, there's a very good chance that he's going to run better. He, you know, I, I think he has a chance to run the best race of his career today. Uh, that doesn't mean Carl's going to be easy to beat, but, I, you know, I think Six Hour has a chance. And I took, you know, this is the way I picked it, 8 one four, 3 The 4 TCI has never been quite as fast as Carl, but he definitely has a chance. It depends, you know, what the kind of trip. I mean, uh, he has 14 wins and 18 starts. I'll just go over some of the, the the card. I went close to the vest on a lot of these races. I mean, I probably picked too many favorites. Some of these races are pretty wide open today. But I'll, I'll tell you the, some of the horses I like. I like French Kronos in the third because I just think this horse has been racing against better horses. I think this is going to be a spot where, you know, he can stretch his legs because uh, it's a softer field. Um, in the seventh race, Act Fast has also been facing tougher horses. Uh, now, Oak, Oakwood Arden is a, is a very good horse, but he's coming off a layoff. But Act Fast, I think, has a chance to upset that race. I made him 7 to 2, but he's higher on the morning line. These, are, this, these lines are my lines. This is what I think the horse's chances are, basically. Alleywag Hanover hasn't won this year, but you know, last year he came into this race with no wins and he won this race. A Buck and Hanover has been getting good cover trips. I think the one Ken Hanover is live here. But Ali Wagner, I think, will probably leave and, and race well today. Very, very classy horse. He's the class of the race, actually, if he's ready for the big for a big race. Um, and then let's see. This is probably a two-horse race between six and five. But Pretender's in good form. Um, oh, now this is a race I like. This is uh, these mares, these trotting mares. Bond is a terrific trotter and fast, but but you know it was scratched and missed his. Uh, her start in June, so now it's coming off a layoff and going into a tough stakes race. Special way is going to be tough here. 
you, you know, she she raced actually better in the uh, Breeders' Cup last year than Bond, and she finished second to Bond, but she had a tougher trip. She's been racing really well against good horses. She's been racing against males. I think special weight is going to be tough in this race, in race number 10. Um, and let's see, is there anything else I wanted to point out? There's the Hamiltonian. Some of these two-year-old races are pretty tough. I mean, I took Kendry here, who's kind of like the obvious horse, but, you know, you, you have you have two-year-old fillies here who have only raced a couple times. you got to be careful because any of these horses can step up and, and you know, improve. So th there are no locks when you're talking about, you know, horses that have only raced twice. Um, and, and that's it. Twinby Fresh, uh, Sylvia Hanover is a great matchup in the 15th race. So anyway, um, great card today. You know, all the top trotters, you know, basically in North America are here, are going to be there today at the Meadowlands. And uh, again, I'll put my the links to my picks there underneath this video. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the races. And remember to subscribe to my channel. It's free. Thanks.